So about 20 days ago, we took a colony where the queen was failing, and um, we split it in hopes of forcing a super seed. Well, let's see how that went. The problem we've run into is this colony doesn't seem to want to accept a new queen or raise a new queen. So we tried our split, but unfortunately, after about four or five days, we went into a rainy spell that lasted 14 days. The worst possible case scenario when it comes to trying to get a queen raised and made it. We had located this one near the parent colony, and unfortunately, I think a lot of the bees left this colony and just moved back to the original one. But nonetheless, you know, you got to try these things. We really wanted to get a queen that was valid, that was laying, you know, worker brood, so we wouldn't lose this colony. This had been our fifth attempt, and the thought that I had is we had a poorly mated queen that was young, and unfortunately the bees sensed her pheromones and didn't want to replace her. And, uh, well, hmm. So it was time to dig into the parent hive, and since we didn't find the queen in this hive or any sign that there were drones being laid, I had a feeling she was still back in the parent colony, uh, still laying drone brood. So we're back to square one, and we have to come up with a new game plan. Not what I was hoping for. No matter what, it was time to dissolve the nuke and, uh, you know, combine it back with the parent colony. So these girls are queenless. Looks like they raised a couple of cells, and they failed. Okay. This hive, on the other hand, is packed full of bees. Well, that's a good start. But still, we do we have the drone issue here going on? It's a bit puzzling that there's as many workers in this hive as there are. There certainly hasn't been any worker brood in a long while. What was there before was minor. So we have had one big issue, and that is after having a drought, we had a very bad rainy spell. Not much of a chance of getting a queen mated. Of course, I still was hopeful with getting down to this hive we would find some eggs or some worker brood. Well, we see honey. Sadly, this day was starting to cloud up and uh, rain was forecast to come, so that kind of limited my options in going into the other hives and uh, you know, trying to come up with a fix for this one. Honey? Honey? Even the areas that had had drone brood in them now had honey in them. Of course, this is not too uncommon. Generally, the queen is pushed downstairs and laying her, hers downstairs when you're in a honey flow. Honey? Well, we're not seeing brood. At this point, I was going to inspect the frames, and uh, assuming I didn't find anything, well, even if I did find something, take the frames out that had very little draw on them and put the uh, fully drawn frames that we had put in the nuke back into the original hive along with the bees that remained in the nuke, as few as they were. Occasional drone brood. Mm. It's safe to say that we were not able to force a super seed. That is unfortunate. Let's say that this one is queenless. There is a queen just in your final stages of failing. 
occasional little bit of drone brood. So. so we'll return the drawn comb to this hive. And unfortunately, the weather is not good enough to give us a good option to go through all these hives. Pick out a new uh, potential frame. So all I can do right now, button these girls back up. And come up with a new plan. A few days later, the sunshine did return, and it was time to look in the other hives, in this case, hive number one. Eggs and very young brood. We may switch this down to our potentially queenless hive. Oh, look at that frame. That's a beauty, too. All right. Now, this got very young brood. Just want to make sure we don't move a queen. Let's see if we can't get these girls down off of this frame. So here we go with attempt number six. Take some eggs and young brood from a hive and put it back in uh, number six and, and hope that they finally do raise something out of it, namely a queen. Make real sure. This is our hive number six, the drone layer. I'm going to try to move real fast on this one. Just in case they do have a virgin queen that they're mating or something like that. Since there had been open queen cells in this hive, even though we couldn't find a queen or eggs or any sign that they had one, uh, still that was the possibility that there's a virgin lurking around. But girls, here you go. Another chance to raise a queen. So this is our sixth time, six, that we've tried to get this uh, this this hive queen right and with someone who's not laying a drone. Ha, who knows? Uh, in a few weeks, we'll be able to tell by going in there and seeing if we have any eggs. Um, if not, you know, what's left of their workforce is going to age out and it's going to get to the point where... Uh, the resources are in danger of either being robbed out or taken over by hive beetles or something nasty. So, just got my fingers crossed, you know, we just keep trying. And uh, remember, like and subscribe, it keeps us going. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.